for me, there were two photographers, just two photographers, Irving Penn and Richard Avedon. And if, you know, I talk about music lineage, I guess, if there was lineage, um, I come from that school, not the Cartier-Bresson school, um, not the Dan Arbus school, although we all experiment when we're coming up. And I had my, you know, I did run around Paris with my Leica being Cartier-Bresson, and I did, you know, knock on the door of a gypsy family and be Diane Arbus or Dan Arbus. So we go through our stages, but I was always interested in the blank canvas. Um, and I learned that the blank canvas existed through Penn and Avedon. And they had very different energies. And I never got to meet either one of them or photograph them. But uh, that's kind of their, their work is just, again, indelible. I studied with Philippe Holzman. He was a great Life magazine photographer. And it was his edict um, that a photograph isn't successful in, unless you capture the subject's inner life. So I heard that, you know, before I was 20, and that still resonates for me. So if you can't, if you don't know who someone is by looking at the picture that I've taken, then I haven't succeeded. So in terms of greatness of photography, um, I think that extends to everybody's work. You know, you want to you want to believe the moment. I mean, there are rotten ads, and there are great ads in in the commercial world. I mean, that Louis Vuitton campaign, it's br it's brilliant, and then there are other ones that. I just want to roll my eyes and say, are they kidding? You know, that you take someone very famous in a Dolce Gabbana ad who is past the age that she should be for this ad, you know, with fake cleavage and a cat that looks miserable and it's not working for me, you know, and then you turn the page and there's a guest jeans ad that's so working and it's just singing off the page because it's real and because the energy is all there and all the elements come together in the right way.